This weekend, the church celebrates Holy Family. And, you know, we all want that concept of the Holy Family, you know, Mary, Joseph, the baby Jesus. We're always kind of looking for that perfect family experience. But this never really exists. A lot of times, it's just not what we want it to be. But the power of Christ, the grace of God, the love that God gives to all of us is really found in the family. The family is the foundation. The family is the dynamic in which the culture can find messages of hope, of faith, of conversion, of healing. But there is this subtle attack against the family. Make no mistake about it. Your family is, should be the most important thing in your life. First God, and then I could say love of family. Do you love your family? Even with its brokenness, even with its woundedness, even with its addictions and struggles. The first letter of St. Paul says today, so St. John says, see what love the Father has bestowed on us that we, are, we can be called children of God. This week, I just want you to concentrate that you come from a family of God the Father, Our Lady who loves and intercedes for you. But more than that, and just on a natural level, I just encourage you to pray for your families. Pray that they will know God's love, that the message of God's love and forgiveness will spread through your families. There is no doubt that unless the families remain strong and stable, there is so much brokenness, woundedness, anxiety, and fear. With a strong, intact family, and you have to work hard at it, becomes a strong, intact parish. And the church can grow, and culture can grow. We can really get out a consistent message of hope. May the Lord give you grace this week. Pray for your families, whether they're holy, unholy, perfect, imperfect. It's God's family, and God invited you into that family. So now bring them to heaven. God bless you.